the law is a wonderful profession where people come to practice in law for a lot of different reasons and motivations. And one of the beauties of the legal profession is that the range of job opportunities really reflects that diversity of interests and why people come. So the types of places that people can work in in the law include in private practice, so in in businesses which have set up to offer legal services. Uh, It includes working in government. It includes working in courts. And it includes working in community settings where people are motivated by a desire to fight for reduction in inequality and access to justice. And they can do that in a way which is not-for-profit setting, providing legal services to members of the community who are most in need. So there's a lot of different ways that you can practice law and each of them probably reflect choices and preferences about why people have come to the law and what what motivates them. What's the difference between a barrister and a lawyer or solicitor? Uh, Barristers, we work for ourselves and we're completely independent. Solicitors um, pretty much uh, part of the firm or they're employed, but they're also the first port of call. Uh, When clients uh, have issues or legal problems, they'll go to a solicitor, they interview them, they get all the documents ready, they hopefully resolve things before it needs to go to litigation. If it can't and things are complex or need litigation, they'll then brief a barrister and get our expertise. Um, and also we're the experts in litigation and advocacy. Uh, So the analogy I use is that you go to a GP, um, if you've got a particular special condition, uh, then you'll get referred off to a you know surgeon or a specialist in that particular area. It's very similar um, in the legal profession. Why did you choose to study a double degree of law and business management at Deakin Uni? So I knew I wanted to do law and the slides do say that I did want to study music and I did want to until about the middle of year 12, which I know is a very last minute change, but I met a lawyer while I was in year 12 and she was just so nice to get to know and find out what she does and how much she enjoys her job. And so she really inspired me to study law. So can you talk to us about your pathway into a law degree? What is the pre-law course at Victoria University? It is a TAFE course offered by Victoria University. I believe it is a one or two year course um, that I completed. I achieved very good marks in that course. And then following that, I was then offered a position at the Victoria University Law School. During your first year at university, you actually completed a work experience placement at McPherson Kelly Law Firm, which is your current employer. How did you manage to get that work experience placement? I was actually fortunate enough to be referred by the assistant principal at Fountain Secondary College, Neil Ewens. I had a very good relationship with him during high school and uh, when I went into law school and caught up with him, he suggested that I do a placement with a friend of his who managed a a law firm out in Dandenong. And so I took him up on the offer and I did a a week of placement at this particular firm. And I must have proved myself very worthy because I stayed on there throughout my entire university degree and then came back as a lawyer. 